this right here is a it's a temporary partial. Okay. And um, it's it's nasty. It's just plastic. <laughs> oh, I taste this plastic all the time. I was ice skating one day and I hit an ice hole, and I just lost my balance and I fell. F I went like this to cover myself, but my hands split open and my I had a tooth actually stick in the ice. One whole tooth. This tooth came all the way out, and then the other tooth broke off to where my roots were like exposed. I was 12. After the accident, I really didn't do much. I used to sit in my room and cry a lot. I always got teased when I was younger because my ear sticks out and they would just call me Dumbo Ear. I decided I would run just a little small ad in our paper that, you know, yes, we do some extreme makeovers and as seen on Extreme Makeover, you know, we're one of the LVI dentists and we've, uh, we're also members of the uh, AACD, which is the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. We want people to know that uh, actually you don't have to go to Hollywood to be a star. There was a little small article at the bottom, I remember, it was right here at the bottom, and, uh, and I copied the name down. She wasn't here when I read it, and then I couldn't wait to tell her, and I said, I think we should call these and see, see about this. In my heart, I thought, gosh, this is the right person. It was just kind of a click. It just, you just know it. It's just one of those things you know when you see it. I made some calls to uh, some friends of mine who are uh, cosmetic surgeons, uh, ophthalmologists, and ophthalmologists, and everything else and I thought well let's just see how far we can take it. They invited me for this cheese and wine benefit for all the doctors explaining what they're going to do and they wanted the two finalists there. The doctor's wife hunted me down and told me you know they've already decided it's going to be Jody. She said no you can't let her know you know I said well you know how am I going to do that? I, you know. I, when I was walking out I just started I was just crying and then I just couldn't stop smiling. She'll have whitening done, she'll have some veneering done, she'll have some bridge work done, and some fillings, and uh, she's had some gum work done also. She'll not only look good, she's going to be very healthy and strong and something that's going to last a real long time. I haven't smiled in a long time. Like a good, you know, big cheese, a big cheeser. Yep. That's what I'm looking for, so now I'm doing it. <laughs> it is 4.27. 04 and the time is 8:20 and um, I'm having rhinoplasty that's a nose job and or ortheal something anyway I'm getting my ear done following is general general information for the care of falling for your this guy at work that I work with he gave me this as a lucky charm for today so I'm going to keep him in the room with me Feels that? Yep. Alright, let's get going. You know what I'm going to We'll give you a little hat here, sweetie. Alright. I didn't know how you wanted it with my ear. Now you're one of us. Alright. Let's ride. See you in about four hours. Yeah, we'll take the first left up there. It's going to be kind of cold. Alright. I'm glad I grabbed an extra blankie then. I'll give you a warm seat too. Oh, right on. I'm going to dream about steaks and T-bones and mm, lots of water. One of the things that Jody is bothered by is her left ear and that it's a little bit more prominent than the right ear. So we're going to approach it from behind and using sutures recreate this fold here to pin it back to better match the other ear. We're also going to take out some cartilage from behind the ear and that will allow us to set the ear back a little ways. Jody wanted us to also do some things to improve her nose. She wanted it just a little bit smaller and she also thought it was a little bit turned up. We're going to set, set it back a little bit and down a little bit. And then she has a little bit of a bump um, that we're going to take out at the same time. Her nostrils also are a little bit flared and we're going to uh, work on bringing those in. A lot of uh, wherever we're working is actually numb after the procedure. Um, so although she'll have kind of a dull ache from the nose surgery, I wouldn't expect her to have uh, little if any pain with the, with the otoplasty. My friend's birthday was the other day and I walked in and everybody was kind of looking at me like, who are you? And I was like, yeah, I'm me, I'm Jody. 
I'm getting the feeling back in my nose, in my ear. Everybody wants me to describe it, and I'm just like, it's not really pins and needles. It's like a, I don't know, it's like your nose is there, and it's not there. It's like, I got your nose. I can't lift nothing. My nose starts to bleed. Breathing is a little weird. You can't do laundry. can't wash dishes. Today's Thursday, May the 6th. It is 11.32, getting whitening and a temporary veneer done. There's one thing I need for you to do for me. Okay. And for us, okay? I want you to go ahead and take your partial out. All right. Okay? I want you to come over, st stand up. And you come over here and just lay it right here. All right, good. And I want you to take this hammer. Oh, wow. And say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. All right. <laughs> what we're getting ready to do with Jody today is uh, starting out with the Bright Smile Teeth Whitening, which will take approximately an hour. Once we're finished with the teeth whitening, then we'll actually go ahead and numb uh, Jody's teeth then we will make a temporary bridge for her today that will extend from that same direction and also fill her out and make it make it blend with her enamel so that everything looks just perfect when we're when we're finished so that uh, uh, she'll have nice white teeth and she'll have a, just a beautiful smile the nice thing about the temporary also is that it will be fixed in Jody's mouth so that um, if she were wanting any changes in the color, for instance, or if she wants any changes in the length or size of the teeth, then we can always make those changes. Because with the computer imaging that we talked about, and uh, also the, the smile design that we went through with Jody, she knows exactly what it's going to look like with the permanent ones, and, and there's no guesswork with it. She may experience a little soreness, sometimes a little sensitivity uh, with the temporaries on. For the most part, she'll have to have to kind of baby the temporaries a little bit. Right. Um, uh, but after that, uh, shouldn't have any really post-op problems like that at all. She'll just have to keep her teeth brushed and flossed and just keep everything real healthy before we put her permanent ones in. It's Friday the 14th. It is 11.04. Um, I'm in Cindy's Closet in Franklin, Indiana. Right now I'm looking for something very sexy, something different from what I wear. It's a Joseph Brubkoff, beautiful, slenderizing dress. It just hit her, per it accentuated everything she really wanted to concentrate on. And she, and she felt good in it. I mean, she came out and you can tell, it just, she just, she just lit up. I just got back from um, Cindy's closet. I'm getting ready to get my hair done. I'm going to let her do whatever she wants to it. Seven years, good luck. <laughs> yep. Jody's a little concerned about the thinness on the top, the flatness. But when we get the length off of it, she's going to see a lot more volume and what we can do with the cut. We're going to do some three-dimensional coloring. So we're going to do some darker tones underneath, and then we're going to do some panels of color in the top. We're going to cut it in some layers so you'll get a lot of volume and texture through it. And you can get a smooth look out of it and easy care, but you can also like punk it up and do your thing for the concerts. We're going to uh, have her eyebrows waxed so that it opens up the eye area and then we're going to give her some cheekbones. She said she'd like to have a little bit more of a cheekbone and then with the way that her hair is cut and, and those type of things then we're going to be able to kind of perfect everything that the doctors have done here. When she gets home she'll have a daytime look in there and she'll also have the colors to take it right into an evening look if she wants to. Today is Tuesday, the 18th at 10.45. I'm getting ready to get my eyes done. I'm going to have you go ahead and open your eyes now. Basically, with LASIK eye surgery, we reshape the person's cornea to eliminate nearsightedness, uh, farsightedness, and or astigmatism. And the first step is making a very thin flap of corneal tissue with a special instrument, and then the laser reshapes the cornea. I would expect Jody should be able to see very well uh, almost immediately after surgery. Uh, usually after LASIK, the vision is relatively blurry within the first hour or two. 
Um, but usually by the next morning, patients can see well enough to pass a driver's test uh, to drive comfortably, and I would fully expect that for Jody. There are very few restrictions. We ask that our patients don't touch or rub their eyes. Um, there are some drops to use for about a week afterwards, uh, but besides that, she can resume all of her normal activities almost immediately. The last few weeks, we have been making over our own Circle City Swan. Earlier this morning, we showed you Jody Byrne as we finished her makeover. It is unbelievable. Here is a look back so far. Our team of doctors have given Jody a brand new smile, new teeth, whitened, the whole works. She has had surgeries on her mouth, her nose, her ear, and her eye. She's had LASIK surgery. Stylists have given her a new haircut, new makeup, and they've picked out new clothing even. So... Finally, what does Jody think of her new look? And are we all ready to see her yet? Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, first let's take one last look. Let's get a close up of Jody's before picture. This is Jody before, and now I can't wait to see you. Jody, <laughs> come on out. Let's see your new look. Woo! Whoa. Wow. Jody, step up here for me really quickly. I want to make sure we get a close-up of here of you. You look absolutely Thank beautiful. You. How do you feel? I feel glamorous. Do you, is yeah. it everything that you thought it would be? Yeah. And more? And more, yeah. Kind of take me through it. What was the hardest part for you? Um, the hardest would probably have been my nose and the ear because you did them simultaneously. So that was, that was the most longest process right there, that and the teeth. Tell us again, let's go back through this for people who are just watching. Why was this so important for you? And kind of tell us as growing up, your ear I know really bothered you. Yeah, it kind of, it stuck out really bad. And uh, just not really, my nose didn't bother me as much, but my teeth and my ear, that was the most drastic part for me. And uh, I wanted to do it because I just didn't smile as much as I wanted to, and now I just can't stop. You are smiling big time, and you look absolutely beautiful. You really do. We were going to bring in, we have the doctors and the stylists and the team behind us. We want to bring in Dr. Gregory Raymond and your mom back here. <laughs> Doctor, can you first of all tell us, this was really special for you to be able to help Jody out, and tell me why. Well, actually, Jody had a great story about what happened. We interviewed about 65 contestants, and uh, we started questioning them. And the more I knew about Jody and the more I got to know Jody, the more deserving I felt she she was. And why so, is that? Well, because of uh, her personal life, uh, what happened when she was age 13 till now she's 23. Can I say your age? It's okay. <laughs> and uh, how she grew up and um, just basically her story and, and uh, the type of person she is. She went through a lot and emotionally, I can't imagine, it seems like it's all positive, but if there are people at home that are saying, okay, I would like to be the next candidate or I'm thinking about doing this, what do you tell people to really think about before they do something this drastic? Well, I would tell them just to think about um, why, why they want that done, you know, for all the right reasons. I mean, we've had, uh, like I said, 65 candidates, and we've screened them pretty heavily, and uh, we narrowed it down after about four or five different meetings. And uh, I think it's mainly um, making sure that they're doing it for the right reasons and also that... Uh, how they need to have that done and why they want it done. And Jody, I know you really are so thankful and you want to, you have something special for, for yes. everybody, don't you? We're yes. going to go ahead and bring this in. I have a, um, a plaque here for everyone that um, helped me out and um, like to, this one's yours. Aww. I'd like to present Thank to you. you. Thank and you. I'll give everybody this. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you so much. And I know Mary is nice right back here in the, in, in the back corner. Is this meant a lot to your daughter? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty special. Yeah. yeah. We are so glad that I'm we could so help you. To, oh. to have met them. <laughs> and see your daughter with a big smile. I don't think she's going to yeah. stop smiling for, for quite some time. We